Hello, Steve Smith of Integrative Preparedness. Here is your Kansas story. I keep promising you, keep forgetting to tell you. Um, I keep telling Steve, I'm going to tell him the story about Kansas, the experience we had in Kansas. This happened in 1992 as we were being reassigned with the Air Force back to uh, Hill Air Force Base in Utah. We'd been living, we'd been assigned to Wright-Patterson for about 12 years, and we had gone down to Georgia in between PCS moves to see the family, and then we were headed out cross-country back to Utah. So we go back to, <laughs> we're starting a cross-country, right? And so we get to Kansas. And I don't remember exactly what city we were in in Kansas when this happened. But um, our sons were, you know, one was born in 79 in Ogden, Utah. Then we went to Ohio, and now we're going back to Utah in, in 92. And we have to stop and get something to eat. So we pull off an exit, off to the right, and we see this little, it's not really a strip mall. It's like sort of a diner kind of sitting with a couple other shops all by itself. And there's really not a lot of people around, but, you know, we just... Their hungry kids are hungry, so we decided to go ahead and stop at this little diner to get something to eat. Well, um, we're getting out of the car, and so we're getting out of the car. We look, I look over the top of the car, and sort of back over to the to the other side of us, a little bit away. We see this van, this really beat up, scrungy looking van, and the doors open, and milling around, there's this guy. And two women, and these women have long dresses down to the floor, kind of like, um, kind of like the sixties. Um, and the guy was skinny and ratty, had dirty black, dark hair. I don't know if it's black, dark brown, black, dark hair, beard, very scruffy looking. And he's in with these two women, and I got the impression there were other people in the van as well. Um, and us behind the van, over further away, at the very far edge of the parking lot, there's a sheriff's cruiser, and there's a sheriff or a deputy sitting in the sheriff's cruiser watching these people in the van. And all of a sudden, we got this really bizarre, creepy feeling like we just happened onto the Charles Manson gang. And it was just so weird. And, um, I think one of them nodded to us or something, and I said, and my husband says, why don't we just go on down to the next exit? Let's just see if we can find something to eat somewhere else. So the kid's back in the car, put him back in the car, and so we head out. It was just the most bizarre feeling. I've never felt anything like that before. So he got, we don't go on down the highway a little bit, and we pull off left side off the exit. And we didn't realize at the beginning that the van actually pulled out behind us and had until we parked in the parking lot, this next place we went, we didn't realize that the van was behind us and here they come in there. And behind them comes the sheriff. And my husband says, why don't we just go on down the road? Let's just keep going. Just keep going. So I think we probably grabbed a cereal bar or something out of the pack and gave it to the kids and we just kept going. I've never, we've never had the, that's the most creepy, creepy feeling I've ever felt in my life. I, it was just like you had accidentally come on part of the Charles Manson gang, and it was so bizarre. Um, but that's how I'll always remember Kansas, even though we'd been across it multiple times back and forth, because like I said, we'd been, st we weren't, we were stationed in Colorado for his tech school, and went back to Georgia, then we were signed in Hill Air Force Base, Utah for a couple of years, and then we went to Ohio, and then we went you know, and when, then we had to go back to Utah, so we've been through Kansas multiple times. And that time was the strangest thing. Um, yeah, I'm sure Kansas is known for a lot of nicer things than Charles Manson look likes, but um, that was my Kansas story. So, there you go. As promised, I have finally delivered you the Kansas story. <laughs> Take care, everybody. Bye.